Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things, but that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies, forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. shop they destroyed everything bouncing banana blast <gasps> what have they done to you louis lou where are you come on pal you better just be looming somewhere like you always do lou make a bad joke if you hear me How did the robot get across the river? In a rowboat. What the hell? Did you just stay there on your knees doing nothing? Did you just like not try to avoid the blast at all? There was no need, Octavia. I am built to withstand far greater shocks than the demolition of an already half demolished Froget shop. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. You risked your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Oh, yeah. That's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My work bliss is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis is right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing. Day keeps getting weirder. What the hell are you doing here? 
I thought you hated it down here. So, what's good in the hood? And I thought you hated frozen yogurt, but life's full of surprises. Do you want it for you to go? Because we're out of every flavor except for shrapnel and smoke. I came to get you off this planet. You know, we both have an Equidex. You could have called me on my phone. I could have at least tried to, uh... tidy up more. I know the time and place aren't ideal, but I've... I've really missed you. The way I left was messy and complicated and also not ideal. But we can talk about all of that someplace that isn't a still-smoking pile of rubble. Uh, I'm kind of busy. What? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You left Promethea on your schedule, you come back on your schedule. Everything's always on your schedule. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say, you look like hell. You look like you rolled through a ratch nest. You're giving me that Anu stare. Stare you gave me when I broke your favorite toy and then you dunked my head in the evacuator. Please don't dunk my head in the evacuator. I get it, you don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Coldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit. I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yes. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> Bring it in. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fine, I'm just a little... Bring it in. Shh. First kill's always the hardest. I know. I've killed many people. <laughs> so, so many people. When you think about it, killing is just being born in reverse. Hi, dear. I'm Fran. This is Anu. Pleasure. Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Oh, uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. Louis, meet Anu, my sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We are... Never had anything like that at Atlas, shockingly. Atlas? Oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No, oh well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. 
Atlas, Malawan, TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want and you move on. You're the big people and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I don't squish people. I left Atlas, I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you're hiring them. Well, sure. I don't know. You sure seem like a corporate tool. I was just fired for refusing to make anything that would kill anyone. And for freeing lab jobbers. Well, maybe not. Plus, she's my sister. We share that free spirit DNA. Or what if we shared DNA? I don't smell too much of that Atlas stink on you. All right. You're okay with me. For now. <laughs> thank, thank me. I, I mean you. I mean... Thank. Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. <gasps> you trust him? What? drugs are you putting in your frogurt? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu. You know my stealing days are behind me. Friend sure does. Back me up, friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Never stolen from me, at least. Because he doesn't have a death wish. That's right. Call me Mr. Not Steal. Because he spends all his days not stealing. Very impressive. Proud of you, bro. Thanks. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like... A radio. It's those damn meddlesome teens. Teens? Teenagers? Yes, teenagers love to impersonate electrical appliances, like radios and blenders and sous vides. I am not involving myself in this. I once saw two teenage girls perfectly impersonate a dishwasher. That sounds highly degenerate. Maybe it was this. <gasps> what could that be, Octavio? I don't know. It looks like some sort of comms device. But who could have left it here? Maybe it was teenagers. It was not. Could be a teen's comms device for arranging dabs and spinnies. Those are not things. Oh, no. They are. Really? Fran, it's... Louis, stop! No, it's a TDR's comms device. Somebody must have dropped it. Yes, TDR. Yeah, probably. Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Half off banana daiquiris. Well, let's hope command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device, wherever that is. Get us a daiquiri device, am I right? <laughs> they're looking for... A doomsday device? I think, and... They think there was a vault key being kept on the station, at Atlas. That's what TDR wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before Tidior does, we can change our lives. No. No, 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 it's not worth it. Tidior has many guns, talking guns, guns with legs. We will be killed by all the guns. Since we were kids, you always wanted to heal the world, to prevent suffering. Yeah? What better way to prevent suffering than stopping ruthless weapons corporations like Tidior from obtaining some priceless resource from a vault? You know whatever they want in there can be good. We, on the other hand, can change the world. We don't have to be nobodies. Change the world. 
Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you? Anu, how are you? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know... Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And that, 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 that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR is planning is going to be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was going to say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I got to run, because, uh... Bye, boss! Looks like they're going to... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! What's a Timmy? TDO has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals TDO comms. Got it. You definitely have not. You really don't give a ratchet's ass about Atlas or TDOR. You ready to go to God knows where for this vault? I suppose. Wherever it is, it can't be worse than here. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? Boop, boop. My shop is gone. I lost my temper. I just need to sit somewhere quiet and visualize. The pulp I'll beat Susan Coldwell into if I had the chance. I've lost enough to know the most adventures don't have happy endings. Susan is TDR. She's the CEO, the big cheese. And? We steal. It's not stealing. We lift the vault treasure from under TDR's nose. You sock a wallop to TDR, translate a property, you sock a wallop to Susan. Actually, yes, that logic checks out. Hmm. We've been through a lot together. When the yogurt was thick and thin. <gasps> All right, I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And Al Zero You Won Three makes four. I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds, I've designed, programmed, and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other and scores your camaraderie from one out of 10 skateboards. All sorts of data, your speech, actions, how you look at each other, personal hygiene. Why are you using skateboards to rate our teamwork? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Octavia. Data suggests that skateboards are more well-received than stars, hearts, thumbs up, and winky faces. The question you should be asking, why aren't we using skateboards to rate everything else? What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is... 6 out of 10 skateboards! Congratulations! You're well on your way to becoming true bosom buddies. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan! And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all.
I find Zipper Ripper to carry the best athleisure wear. Agreed. And it's eco-friendly. Really? There's something about the threading process and uh, free trade materials. Huh. We'll make something free trade. This is hopeless! Wait, they are telling us where TD are setting. Zipper Ripper athleisure wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The Lycra really supports my delicates, too. The reverberations bouncing their voices. The faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you... If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. Well, let's quit dilly-dallying and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. It is my useless rubble. Come on, this way! Got a secret sewer exit built into your shop? Yeah. I... Okay. Cool. Yes. <laughs> if you see any bodies down here, pretend you didn't. Why would we... Talk about something we definitely won't see. Got it. Baco! Good friend of mine. Shut up, moron. Decent friend. <laughs> Do you want to die? A acquaintance. You're heading into a battalion of TDR troops. How do you know that? I snuck a tracker into your clothes in Why case I ever would he... needed to kill you. Stay quiet. Sneak. Don't run. Pretend you're on a stealth mission, huh? And that you're not an idiot. And if they catch you, make sure you die before you give me up, okay? Right. Weapons and equipment, no OSP. What? On-site procurement. Military stealth lingo. Ah, uh, you made that up. Go in dark. TDR troops ahead. Gotta be sneaky. What? How? I I'm not a covert operative. Just stay low and follow my lead. Well, just, you know, stay quiet and avoid them all. Hold up, I love you, but I would never put the words quiet and Octavio in the same solar system as each other. You got a better idea? Oh. Soldier can't scream with a crushed windpipe. Wait, so... Our options are to sneak around and pray nobody spots us, or quietly murder everyone we come across. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whenever you're ready. Good to be back on Promethea, huh? Guess you're the tiebreaker, sis. What do you want to do? Let's... Uh, maybe try not to murder people? Prude. All right then. Follow my lead. Oh crap, 
won't be able to cross the room without him seeing us. You can't, like, zoom up to him and knock him out? Chair gets loud if I move too fast. Everyone in the sewers will hear us. It's okay. I got an idea. Look, I like the kid, but I gotta say, your brother has problems. Octavio, what are you doing? As long as I move only when he's not looking, you'll think I'm just a harmless little ammo box. Then when I get close, I'll distract him and we get past. It's streetwise. I'm streetwise. I never should have left you alone down here. Here we go. So weird. Guy in a box. No! Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Just let me... Uh, I'm not who you're looking for. I disagree. Is... is that a... No! It couldn't be! Not worth much in the market, but to a true Vaultlander connoisseur. My Vaultlander? You want it, it's yours. Just let me go. I'm not gonna take it. Vaultlanders must be earned. Through the right of glorious combat! You wanna... fight? Indeed I do. Will versus Will. Vaultlander to Vaultlander! Oh. Okay. Beat me, and I'll let you pass without incident. As is the warrior's code. But if I win, your Vaultlander and your life are forfeit. What is he doing? Let's just grab him and... No. It isn't up to us anymore. Octavio must find glory in the truth of the figures. Only through plastic combat will our fates be decided. Why are you people like this? Ready? Ready. Come down! Select your Rollander. Claptrap. Claptrap versus Zane. Fight! Toasty! 
test your superior combat skills. Leave this place. I must gather my thoughts. Okay, we're uh, gonna go this way. No more words. I said go. Your soldiers of questionable intelligence stand between us and the vault. Fran, can you take them? Is Frogurt better than ice cream? Hold on. Are we sure about this? Never been sure before. Why start now? Right now, they're more vulnerable than we are. We should keep it that way. So let them get closer and closer to the vault because... Because Tidior may not be the worst thing lurking around here, and whoever has the vault key is going to be the primary target. If I'm not cracking skulls, what do you propose we do? There's some cover down there. We could try to, I don't know, get closer. We'll have to be extremely quiet. Yeah, it's a stealth mission! <laughs> Sorry. All this sneaking better lead up to some violence. It will. Probably. Just follow me and make sure they don't see you. Now, let's go. We gotta do something. Go, Skag Blast it!
Thank you, Fran. No sweat. Everyone okay? All good. Perfection! I'm sorry, Octavio. We can figure this out! They're just aliens! <laughs> More like robots. The Iridians apparently had them built to guard the vault before they pissed off to whatever dimension they're probably hiding in. What? I read. The point is, we're done. We'll be lucky just to find a way out of here with our lives. Whatever's in that vault, it's not worth our lives. Might be worth Octavio's. We've come this far, we can't just leave. Are you aware of the sunk cost fallacy? Yes, Anu, I've sunk a fallacy before. Uh... We're safer here than out there, or back in the sewers. In fact, this is the safest we've been in hours. The only way out is through. Kid's got a point. Wait. <gasps> I got it! What's good, Ock? Paco, I need Juniper. What? Your ratch, dummy. Can she find me down here? Should. You got a musk. Then do it. What the hell are you up to? Ratches! They're tunnelers! They know every route into or out of a place. If there's a path that gets us into that vault without exposing ourselves, Paco's pet rat Juniper will know about it. Good idea, right, Fran? Yes! That animal has zero right to be as cute as it is. I would follow her to hell and back. How about to a vault? That'll do, Ratch. That'll do. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Juniper is. Juniper's a good girl. Well, who wouldn't be a good girl for that kind of attention? Mm. I wouldn't. Would. Not... I'm uncomfortable. All right, girl. We're counting on you. How do we get to the vault from here? Oh. Uh... It's all right. I'll find my own way through. You sure? I'm pretty sure this is the only path. I'm not convinced those Guardians aren't trying to break through and murder us all, so... I'll buy you two time. Fran, I, I don't think... You do, actually. Way too much. You kids get going now. I mean it. Fran, I... I said go. Right. We'll see you on the other side. should be seeing this. She could name a frogot after it. Like praline portal punch or top secret secret sauce. <sighs> You're right. And should be here. Fran! <gasps> oh! Miss me? It's... No! Anyway, look! All that effort, and Juniper just led us to the other side of this glowy arch thingy. It's quite clever, actually. It's a dimensional portal, so you can enter and exit it from either side. And on this side, the Guardians can't see us, so we have all the cover we need to... Do you want to explain more about vault physics, or can we go inside it now? 